Good afternoon, and welcome to the Gothic Bohemian Salon. This is Julifer de Winter, and today I'm doing an outfit of the day. First of all, I wanted to point out my under things. I'm wearing um, this uh, bit of lace, which is attached to a um, sort of an underdress. It's kind of a see-through cotton. It was um, a modesty dress for kind of a sheer flower dress that I have, and I really didn't like the dress, so I cut the underdress out of it, and now I wear it under things all the time. Um, this part is actually another sort of thing like that, and I often wear these two things um, just alone with a skirt, and that's, um, that's my outfit. And these both are sleeveless, so uh, that works out pretty well. On top of that, I have a blouse that is um, a stretch lace, which I actually got at Sears, and it was uh, cream colored, and I dyed it this nice um, dark burgundy color with um, writ dye on my stove. Um, it didn't dye the, uh, the um, contrasting stitching around the edges, and I kind of think that um, gives it an interesting look. And as you can see, it has these nice ruffles coming down here, which I really, really like. I'm also wearing the corset that I made from the Too Bad Corsets from eBay. Um, if you've seen my uh, one of my other Outfit of the Day videos, I explain how I made this corset from um, two kind of not so great corsets that I bought off of eBay. Basically, I opened up the side seam of one of the corsets and then took and created pieces to insert so that it would fit me and then I curved all those seams so that the corset has the proper curve because the corsets didn't have any curve whatsoever. I then added um, a waist tape on the inside, uh, new boning channels and new boning so that it would be uh, much more uh, sturdy and structured and I added this nice little pleated trim at the bottom, which gives it a bit of interest. Um, on the bottom, I'm wearing kind of as an apron bustle type of skirt, this um, four-tiered black skirt. Um, all I've done is just sort of booshed it or hooshed it up into um, uh, underneath the corset so that it will stay um, kind of bustly. It gives it um, that effect and you see in the background it kind of does a little bit of a bustle thing. And then underneath I'm wearing this very beautiful skirt that is um, made, usually these are made in India. It's got um, black on black embroidery panels, uh, cotton panels and velvet panels and finishes off at the bottom with a really nice uh, ruffle, as you can see there. Um, the skirt used to have another ruffle underneath that one, but it tore, so I clipped it out, and um, I think it's going to work really well as a skirt um, like this. For my tights, I'm wearing these um, gray and black um, uh, stockings that used to be tights. Um, basically, I just cut the tops off of all my tights and make them into stockings. And I just wear um, a little ribbon. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, this little ribbon as a garter to keep the stockings up. And often I wear it under the knee um, or over the knee. The shoes I'm going to be wearing today are these um, T-strap wedges, which I actually found um, in the foyer of my, my uh, building that I live in. Um, people put things down there to uh, get rid of all the time, and um, these just happen to be my size. The other thing I wanted to mention is that um, the skirt that I'm wearing underneath 
um, was actually from uh, what used to be um, Long's Drug Store. Um, there, it was the biggest pharmacy in the entire United States, um, and they sold clothes as well as um, almost everything else. And um, the skirt was um, $25. You can find skirts like this on eBay. Um, it's pretty easy to spot them. There's some sellers who sell new ones, and then sometimes people are getting rid of old ones. Um, if you put in black velvet skirt, uh, you're likely to come across them. Um, this one has panels this way, which is nice and slimming, um, but usually there are um, tiers of ruffles going this way. Um, this uh, skirt that I'm wearing over the skirt, I actually don't remember. Oh, uh, no, this was in a grab bag downstairs as well. Um, so that was um, free and the shoes were free. Uh, I, I don't remember um, where the tights came from. Uh, this shirt was on sale at Sears for $12. Um, okay, so as far as jewelry is concerned, I'm wearing um, this uh, Moonstone necklace which I love, which I bought in Cardiff in Wales, um, but actually turned out to be made in California, which I thought was kind of interesting. And then I've got um, this fleur-de-lis and seed pearl necklace that I bought at um, Dark Garden Unique Corsetry in San Francisco. And I'm wearing this um, really beautiful rhinestone necklace that also came from Dark Garden Unique Corsetry. And as far as uh, rings and things, I just have my, um, in memory of morning ring, my sapphire ring, and my citrine ring on my left hand, and then my um, wolf ring, and a skeletal hand ring. Um, I'm wearing uh, not as many bracelets as usual. I'm wearing this one uh, here that says um, Say La Vie. And then um, this other charm bracelet has uh, skull and crossbones and um, stars and little, um, little beads hanging off of it. And then this is one of those, um, you know, one of these things that you could actually wear as a necklace as well which I'll have to try soon, um, or you can make it into a heart, <laughs> it looks like. Yay! Um, anyway, I had this for years and didn't wear it uh, until I had blue hair, so that's been fortuitous. On the other side, I've got um, the black-based uh, rhinestone bracelet from Claire's in uh, San Francisco. This was kind of pricey at $16, but I love black-backed rhinestones. The second bracelet is an Art Deco bracelet. It's um, genuine from the period. I actually haven't taken it off since I put it on. It's um, quite uh, beautiful, and um, I got it at a Vintage Fashion Expo for um, $45. And then there's this Markzite bracelet here this little one, and that was a gift um, from somebody uh, who saw what I was wearing actually on my wrist and thought that it matched it so well that she um, gave it to me, and uh, it's marcasite and silver, and um, obviously it didn't cost anything. Um, and then last thing is this bracelet with faces on it, which I got at a place called Rock Paper Scissors in Oakland and um, it was $12. Um, I should mention that the charm bracelet here came from Sears, and um, I've bought three of them now. I'm probably going to make a necklace out of the other two, um, and they were uh, $8.98, and then they were discounted to $6.98, which is why I have three. The C'est La Vie necklace, or rather bracelet, was um, $45, which is really expensive for something for me, but I really, really liked it and um, it, loved it, actually. So, um, this uh, necklace here was um, $45 at Dark Garden. 
Uh, that's also quite expensive for me, but I had credit. And uh, so was this one. And the Moonstone necklace was, um, I think, 20 pounds. So that's something like um, $36 or so at the exchange rate that it was there. Um, this ring came from a pawn shop, actually, and it was um, under $200. I put it on layaway for quite a long time. I really, really loved it. So um, the sapphire ring I bought for my birthday, and it was um, $80. Every year I buy myself a really pretty little ring that has that's real gold, that has real stones in it. Um, and I find them at pawn shops or consignment shops for under $100, and I'll buy something like that for my birthday um, every year. The um, morning ring uh, was, I think, $165. Um, the skeletal hand was $7 at um, Buffalo Exchange. And the wolf ring I bought at um, the World Science Fiction Convention in Boston, Massachusetts for uh, $45. It's some um, solid silver. Um, keep in mind, I don't have a lot of money, so a lot of these things were free, or I had credit, or I brought in things to trade, um, or I put them on layaway, so it may sound like I spent a lot of money, um, but uh, I tend to believe that it's good to um, invest in things that will last you for a long time, that you'll appreciate for a long time, rather than getting a lot of little small things, um, just save your money and get like one big thing. And the last thing that I'm wearing are these uh, earrings um, with uh, crosses on them, and these were from Claire's. Um, if you buy uh, two sets of earrings, you get um, a third for free, and um, this was part of that deal. So that's my outfit of the day. I hope it's been interesting. Um, uh, thank you for joining me in the Gothic Bohemian Salon. Please like and subscribe um, to the channel, and have a wonderful day. Good night.